What's going on guys, it's Story Mac here, and in this video today, I have some clips from last night's stream, which are a sheer display of some of the major inconsistencies in this game. And with all this happening last night, I wanted to make a video talking about the game's current mechanics and metas and some of these potential future updates that are coming out and have come out. I believe the game could be improved in many aspects for casuals and pros, and you know, that could all happen without changing any more metas. Currently, the shotguns are pretty broken, but that's not necessarily due to them being nerfed. Like, yeah, it can be annoying, but it's mainly due to the fact that they are inconsistent as can be. The C4s are way too overpowered, there are connection issues, there are building issues, there are sound issues, and you know, the typical things that we all know about could be improved a ton, and that's where I believe Fortnite's focus should lie. But a lot of other things are happening, and we're kind of just sitting here waiting to see what actually comes to be. I'll start with saying, though, that inconsistency is one of the biggest ongoing issues at the moment and we need to really focus on consistency because that's the number one thing. We can all manage with damage being lowered, but things don't add up when you shoot someone with a shotgun five times and then they can turn around and shoot you once and still one pump you. You could have some of the most accurate shots to the body and higher and due to the spread having bloom or you know, due to being penalized for switching too fast, which leads to a ghost shot. A ghost shot, by the way, is when you shoot your shotgun and switch to another weapon too fast and the game doesn't register the shot and gives you a blanket mark instead like that's an issue that wasn't a thing before that wasn't a thing a few months ago just like some of the other problems that have been rising up over the past couple months there are so many problems with the game but so many great things about the game at the same time this is an amazing game and i play it every day i love it but i'm hoping that they can focus on fixing the right things rather than fixing the wrong things or you know what they think could be the right things that lead to worse things happening i personally believe to appeal to casual players and pro players, there could be a lot of things that happen. One of my ideas that I've been thinking about that is a great suggestion in my opinion is that there could be a beginner's playlist or something of the sort for all of the newbie players that have no wins and a lot of matches played or something like that. A good example of a playlist like this is back on an older Call of Duty. I think it was World at War or Black Ops 1. Correct me if I'm wrong. But off the jump starting the game, you would only get to play against players that were the same levels as you up until level 20 or something like that. Then after that, you were locked from that playlist. I'm pretty sure it was called Boot Camp, and in that playlist, you just played against a bunch of other guys learning to play the game just like you. And yes, I know that, you know, you might not be able to get much better playing that playlist because you're playing people that are also, like, on your playing level, but you get a better grasp for the game. I think with that playlist being incorporated into the game, then they could implement a competitive playlist like there is in CSGO while also still keeping the regular pubs that we have and that we all love right now. Because if there was three levels to it, the boot camp, the regular public matches, which are casual, and then the competitive playlists, I think it would allow players to, you know, really get better at the game. And if a player, for instance, goes from the first to the second to the third, and they play a really skillful player in the third playlist, and that player just destroys them, they won't have to complain to Epic. They'll just go back to the regular casual pubs. I'm sure they could come up with, you know, ways to solidify a happy medium with acceptance into these playlists and, you know, denying players access that are better or worse, whatever it is. I honestly feel like this could be a great system to the game, and I feel like at the end of the day, it would make everyone happy. There's so many plausible solutions that make sense rather than just changing the game. You know, Fortnite needs to appeal to casual players, but they need to do it in a similar way to this, like what I'm suggesting. Let's not change the game drastically by nerfing shotguns. Let's not, you know, buff C4s anymore and continue adding counterplays to let a player drop down from a build battle and destroy your builds in a second. Because, you know, who wants to fall to their death? That's frustrating. Who wants to, like, have the edge on someone and then it just flips because a player uses something to their advantage that you don't have or something that is like kind of like a cheat. Like, why would anyone want that? That's not fair. I understand some of the players that are less skillful would want that, but like, you know, when they get better at the game or even if someone that is on the same skill level uses that against them, they're gonna be upset. A good example of this is when I pick up C4s and, you know, just chuck them at teams and chuck them at players and just like destroy all the builds around them when they can't really build that well and then they die to them. The more skillful players could really abuse these items and make it less fun for these guys that are like below us and, you know, want to like try to like keep up with us 
That's why I think these other playlists should be implemented, to just avoid all of that all in all. In my opinion, the balance of weapons being rewarded from chests and floor loot needs to be taken into consideration more. Because currently, the heavy shotgun is the best shotgun to use, and it is the meta, but it can only be found in a chest, and it gives like way more damage than any other shotgun does. And I believe that's detrimental to shotgunning on this game. There needs to be something that makes the heavy like more equivalent to the pump, equaling out the damage that the shotguns do, but the heavy still shoots faster, so at the end of the day, it can be a the better gun but with players you know outgunning you with a lucky one tap with the heavy or you know really any shotgun like you see in this video is definitely problematic because there needs to be a more accurate system in place if they're going to nerf the shotguns in the first place you know because if you have the heavy right now you can do what i'm doing what you can do what i'm doing that you see in this clip and this is flat out ridiculous but anyway i will say personally for me fortnite is and will be the best game for some time now but the influencers should have their opinions valued more because they're the ones that for the most part keep the casuals here or at least have brought them into the game in the first place i'm pretty sure the reason most of us started playing fortnite is because of some streamer or because of some video we saw that was made by an entertaining great player you know the people that made the game look as fun as it is are the ones that brought us here in the first place if influencers drop it due to it becoming harder and harder to play and enjoy wouldn't it make sense for some of their viewers to find new games and whatnot as well obviously it wouldn't be a major crash but you know it, there would be a downhill slope and it would be inspired due to the influencers and other you know streamers and youtubers dropping the game there are so many people that are impressionable enough to not play it because of their favorite streamer or youtuber now playing another game that they would want to try as well fixing current issues rather than coming up with new ways to make new metas is crucial consistency will drop more and more with new updates that aren't working towards fixing the current problems and the problems that arise every day you know, there are so many issues that could be what Epic puts their time into and, you know, they focus on those rather than adding all these other new things. And, like, I appreciate new things being added. And some of the new things that they add are really enjoyable, like the bounce pads, for instance. But things like hitching, you know, the micro stutters, ping issues, connection issues, sound issues with vertical sound not working that well could be the strong points they focus on. I understand new things being added will create a different atmosphere and, you know, prevent it from getting boring, but there are other ways to add new things to the game that help prevent it from getting boring. Instead of changing these current metas and play styles by adding new things, why not add more to the map, you know? Why not create these new playlists like I suggested? Why not even work on a second map? Bring out the playground LTM sooner, you know? All of these things can be what they focus on rather than creating these new metas that are drastically changing play styles and more. Personally, for me, it's annoying to have to adapt to a new meta every week. At the end of the day, I'm fine with it because I enjoy the game as much as I do. I still play it every day, but why adapt to a new meta every single week when they could instead add a test server to the game that we try to, you know, play and, and figure out? And if we like that, we give them our feedback. I think that would work out a lot better rather than just changing the way the game plays overall. At the end of the day, I would hope for Fortnite to, you know, really work on maintaining the current player base because... They've done so well, they're making so much money, and, you know, if the skill ceiling is lowered every update, I feel like there's not going to be much to grind for on this game, because people naturally become addicted to wanting to get better, which is what keeps people on here, you know? Like, there is a drive to get better, these people have a drive to get better, and if there is no way to improve your playstyle, what will keep people on here? I will finish up with saying the reason that I even took the time to talk about yeah, this in my video today like, is because is Fortnite was one of the only like games in the past couple of years that I've found yeah, enjoyment in and I've loved playing it and I've loved grinding it getting better and better it brings me back to the old days when I just played games day in and day out like just to try to be the best at the game and that's yeah, what I want to do on Fortnite and I want to make something clearly. even bigger out of this and if Fortnite what? does drastic things to their game the it could in some game. ways kill off what the game's up, player base viewership and so much register. more and why would why? any influencer want that to happen to the game that they find so much fun in and want to just get bigger on